in a recently published scientific paper about these white rocks, the Perseverance team positively identified for the first time a surprisingly rare mineral on Mars. It's surprising because on Earth, you probably wouldn't give it a second look. On this episode of Mars Guy. Back in November of 2024, I reported a discovery by Perseverance on its way up the rim of Jezero Crater. The team spotted something in the landscape interesting enough to send Perseverance more than 60 meters in the wrong direction to investigate. Here's Mars Guy for scale. White rocks on Mars are unusual, a space oddity, as I presented in episode 187. That's because most Mars rocks originate from volcanic processes that lead to various shades of gray, although probably not 50. I suggested at that time that quartz is a good candidate for the mineral that composes the white rocks, but visual appearance alone is not enough to rule out other white minerals. Additional measurements would be needed. In February of this year, scientists on the Perseverance team published a paper that provided the answer. The Raman spectrometer of the SuperCam instrument zapped this rock with a laser and produced a spectral fingerprint that's essentially a perfect match to quartz. Now, some of you are probably thinking, but Mars guy, quartz is not a rare mineral, so why the clickbait? And you'd be right about quartz, not the clickbait. Quartz is the second most common mineral in Earth's continental crust behind feldspar. But Mars doesn't have continents like Earth. That's because it doesn't have plate tectonics, the global scale process that generates both continental crust and seafloor or oceanic crust. Mars is more like oceanic crust, where quartz is indeed a rare mineral. The discovery of quartz by Perseverance, a first for any Mars rover, shows just how rare it is on that planet. Most quartz on Earth originates deep inside continental crust in magma chambers that have time to slowly cool and crystallize before being thrust to the surface as granitic rocks. The lack of plate tectonics on Mars means there probably won't be many granite countertops. So how is it that Perseverance found rocks made of quartz? One clue comes from the fact that they're essentially only made of quartz, so they're not like granite, which includes a bunch of feldspars and other minerals. On Earth, you can find pure quartz in veins, which are fractures in rocks that get filled by fluids that precipitate minerals like quartz. And those fluids are commonly produced in hydrothermal systems, where water is heated by magma, like below volcanoes. But the rim of Jezero Crater is not a volcano. It sure would have felt like one, though, right after the impact. That's the scenario proposed by the team. The heat generated by the impact that formed Jezero Crater nearly 4 billion years ago could have led to hydrothermal activity that ultimately produced quartz-filled veins within the fractured rocks of the crater rim. This scenario is recognized among impact craters on Earth, so it's a reasonable explanation for quartz on Mars. The fact that the Mars quartz rocks are found in a cluster is consistent with them being remnants of one or more eroded quartz veins. Quartz is notably hard and resistant to erosion, so it's often the last mineral standing. And that's good news if you're looking for useful mineral resources on Mars, but it's going to be an expensive one. Unlike Earth, quartz on Mars has to be considered a rare mineral. 